our customers have saved quite a bit of money by reducing outsourcing and mistakes. Mistakes cost a lot of money. Turnkey solutions help with that, and Autodesk solutions are really a big help for making that process happen. I'm a mold maker machinist by trade. Uh, before I got into sales, I, I was working in a lot of the shops that we sell machines to now. The vision was to grow the company to be a very customer-oriented, service-driven solutions provider with very high-end CNC machinery. When we were granted representation for Mitsubishi and OPS Ingersoll, Eagle Technology had just hit Europe, so our customer Cavalier Tool was the first customer to invest in the Eagle Technology. And what they were able to show was the ability with Autodesk to really take the process to a whole different level. Minimal operator intervention, true automation, where the process controls it. Very simple, with literally almost no work. Click, 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 done. We went from outsourcing about $600,000 a year in EDM to pulling that back in with a single machine, utilizing the software. That was really the beginning, but now the, the software has grown, the technology's gotten better. With automation and RFID chips, we can control the process to an even greater detail, and that's what customers are experiencing, a nice flow with their tooling and not having mistakes, having information automatically input into the machine and a smooth, streamlined process. Performance in Autodesk the, the beauty of our relationship is we're really both trying to strive to give our customer the best end result. Not just for making cutter paths and pulling electrodes out, but the entire process with automation. Autodesk really has a superior product. The city of Detroit and Michigan and, and Windsor are the die mold capital of North America. And we're just honored to have partners like Mitsubishi EDM and OPS Ingersoll and Autodesk that have phenomenal technology and we're enjoying phenomenal growth in Detroit once again.